Well guys, we are back today with a pretty cool video idea that I had. And this is not a budget accessory, it's more of a budget DIY. Today we're gonna try to make pistol body armor for $5. We're going to start off with some ceramic towel for a little under a dollar a piece as well as two books from the Dollar Tree and they're just uh, pretty thin books about the same size as the tile so it works out perfectly as well as some duct tape. Now you can find duct tape at the dollar store for about a dollar a roll or you can use some around the house but in total this project comes out to be five dollars. Now needless to say don't try this at home, don't rely on this, it's more of just a fun video for information but if <laughs> If you try to use this, you might die. Let's put it all together and take it down to the range and do some shooting. So I plan on wrapping the tile each in duct tape first before I attach them together with duct tape. This way when the tile shatters, the duct tape should hold it together, preventing it from just falling apart for follow-up shots. Then once we have those two taped together, we're gonna put the two books at the end. From my experience in the past, it seems like the tile actually stops the bullet since it's so hard. It acts like ceramic body armor, but it shatters apart and needs a backing. I've tried um, baking pans in the back before and stuff, but I think this paper is actually going to do really good, especially with those cardboard bindings and covers. It's gonna, I think it's going to be pretty solid and hold up, but we'll see. Let's tape it all up and see what it looks like at the end. So we have the two ceramic towel plates loosely wrapped in duct tape just to prevent them just from shattering all to pieces and falling apart. Now let's tape the two together and then put the books on the end. Well we have it all taped up and it feels pretty solid. Let's head down to the range and do some shooting. We have the plate set up down range with the ceramic facing us. That's going to be the strike face since I think that's going to stop and break up the bullet. Then I'm hoping that the books will actually catch the bullet after they make it through the ceramic plates. First up, 22 at a little over 7 yards. Let's go check it out. All right, moment of truth. You can see the entrance hole and nothing so it did not go through that is really cool so could stop at 22. next up nine millimeter out of this gen 4 glock 34. i don't know i hope it actually stops it well there's the entrance hole you can see a little debris coming out the top but let's flip it over nothing no bulges or anything, so wow, that's actually doing really good against 9mm. Now we're stepping it up even more. Time for the 45 ACP. I have this Gen 3 Glock. This thing packs a punch. I <laughs> hit hard. Well, here we go, and you can actually see part of the bullet is actually stuck there. I'm going to try to zoom in and focus, but it looks like you could see part of the bullet. And wow, no bulges or anything. That stopped the 45. No problem. I am really impressed. Let's keep shooting it some more. I wasn't going to shoot it with the 40 cal. I was just going to skip straight to the 45 and I thought that would pretty much destroy a lot of it, but it didn't. So let's hit it with a 40 cal and see how it does. That is the worst case scenario. I think I hit right beside the nine millimeter. So I don't know, we'll see. So that is almost worst case scenario. We probably already degraded the ceramic at this point, but let's see, <laughs> it stopped it. This plate is doing insanely good. You could see it bulging now, probably because the books took most of the impact from that one uh, with very little ceramic since it was right next to that nine millimeter hit. Let's keep on shooting it. Let's try a 357 Magnum. Who knows, maybe it'll stop it too. A much bigger entrance hole. It definitely blew part of the ceramic out, but let's flip it over. Wow, you could feel a slight bulge here, but it stopped at 357, no problem. <laughs> it just keeps on going. I've got about seven rounds of nine millimeter left, so I'm gonna test its multi-strike capabilities. 
This thing just keeps impressing me. I saw some dirt flying around. I don't know if something got through or if something ricocheted off, but let's go see. So we, we hit it pretty good and I don't know. Some of these hits are right on top of each other, but let's see. Oh, we finally have some tearing through. So it seems like those multi hits in the same spot, once they degrade the ceramic, you finally break through. But overall, I am very, very impressed with the performance of this plate. I didn't actually expect it to do this well. Let's cut this thing apart and see what we can see. You can see where it just blew this ceramic out to pieces. Um, I don't know if we caught any of the bullets. Yep, there is a bullet we caught inside the ceramic itself. So it looks like we were catching them in the ceramic and then they were denting the book right here. Here's another bullet. Let's try to get that one out. So there's another one. Let's see, and actually, I bet you there's a lot more inside this book. Well, we found a lot more. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then there's fragments, I believe, of like the 22 and some jackets. So, we caught a lot of those bullets, and this Dollar Tree book and ceramic towel body armor did really good. But now don't try this at home and don't rely on it because you'll die. But if you guys like the video, please check out my other ones and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.